This study tracked about 1,000 adults in the United States, and they ranged in age from 34 to 93, and they started the study by asking, how much stress have you experienced in the last year? They also asked, how much time have you spent helping out friends, neighbors, people in your community? And then they used public records for the next five years to find out who died. In the past, naming English as a separate subject seemed relatively easy. The textbook selected and graded items of language which were put into content and then practiced intensively. New items were carefully controlled so that the student could cope quite easily. Now that English is used as a medium of instruction, These decisions are highly nuanced. Of course we use a lot of data to inform our decisions, but we also rely very heavily on iteration, research, testing, intuition and human empathy. Now, sometimes the designers who work on these products are called data-driven, which is a term that totally drives us bonkers. The fact is, it would be irresponsible of us not to rigorously test our designs when so many people are counting on us to get it right.
Welfare has a special political meaning to the United States because it refers to how the poor receives financial aid. In comparison, welfare services are regarded as a universal right in other regions like Europe, where it is believed that all citizens should be able to obtain a minimal level of social support and well-being. The world's fifth largest continent, Antarctica is almost entirely covered by ice 2,000 meters thick. The area sustains varied wildlife including seals, whales, and penguins. The Antarctic Treaty signed in 1959 and enforced since 1961 provides for international governance of Antarctica. Investigators also compared those microbes with those living in 52 other soil samples taken from all around the planet. The park had organisms that also exist in deserts, frozen tundra, forests, rainforests, and prairies. Antarctica was the only area that had microbes that did not overlap with those found in Central Park. Only a small percentage of the park's microbes were found to be already listed in databases.
USA sexually teased its troops in the First World War to make them fight harder. Believing that sexually satisfied men could not be easily motivated, the aim of this teasing was to generate unmet sexual desire, which the War Department could leverage as motivation to fight. A single protein is a master regulator of mouse muscle function during aging, a new study finds. Blocking this protein increased muscle strength and endurance in old animals. It may play a role in age-related muscle weakening in humans. Modern buildings have to achieve certain performance requirements, at least to satisfy those of building codes, to provide a safe, healthy, and comfortable environment. However, these conditioned environments demand resources in energy and materials, which are both limited in supply, to build and operate. Cheerful sunny yellow is an attention-getter. 
While it is considered an optimistic color, people lose their tempers more often in yellow rooms, and babies will cry more. It is the most difficult color for the eye to take in, so it can be overpowering if overused. Yellow enhances concentration, hence its use for legal pads. It also speeds metabolism. We've spent a lot of money over the last 70 years on flood control, and it's protected millions of people and has saved us billions of dollars. We've built dams to hold back the waters. We've built levees to keep the water off the people, and we've raised the ones that were originally started in 1718. The beginning of the 21st century will be remembered, not for military conflicts or political events, but for a whole new age of globalization, a flattening of the world. The explosion of advanced technologies now means that suddenly knowledge pools and resources have connected all over the planet, leveling the playing field as never before.
The problem begins with the alphabet itself. Building a spelling system for English using letters that come from Latin, despite the two languages not sharing exactly the same set of sounds, is like building a playroom using an IKEA of CE set. Air pollution reduced when U.S. embassies around the world installed monitors and tweeted the readings. The resulting reductions in air pollution levels had large health benefits for residents in these cities, speaking to the potential efficacy of other monitoring and information interventions. The student's reading in his own subject slows down and his comprehension becomes less secure. He expresses himself slowly and often fails to convey his ideas exactly. He is disappointed to find that under pressure he makes a lot of unnecessary mistakes in areas where he knows the correct language forms. His social relations are difficult as he cannot find the right phrase quickly enough to keep a conversation going, so his language often betrays him into dullness, coldness, or worst of all, rudeness. Instead of the students being in control of the language, the language seems now to be in control of the students.
Neutron stars, the compressed remains of massive stars gone supernova, are the densest, normal, objects in the known universe. Black holes are technically denser, but far from normal. Just a single sugar cube worth of neutron star material would weigh 100 million tons here on Earth, or about the same as the entire human population. The survey found that the statistical chances of someone from a poor background being accepted at one of the country's most respected universities are far lower than those of a student from a wealthy family. This means that the inequalities in society are likely to be passed down from one generation to the next. The life of a hunter-gatherer is indeed, as Thomas Hobbes said of the state of nature, solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. In some respects, to be sure, wandering through the jungle bagging monkeys may be preferable to the hard slog of subsistence agriculture.
Marriage is a big step in anyone's life and there is an argument to be made against getting married too early. As any newlywed couple knows, there is a huge amount of financial pressure associated with marriage. Firstly, the wedding reception and honeymoon will cost you an arm and a leg. Then there's the matter of home loans, rent and energy bills. If you're looking to start a family, your child's education is another thing you need to save up for. Teenagers should probably find a proper job before deciding to tie the knot. Psychology is the study of cognitions, emotions, and behavior. Psychologists are involved in a variety of tasks. Many spend their careers designing and performing research to understand how people behave in specific situations, how and why we think the way we do, and how emotions develop and what impact they have on our interactions with others.